Welcome back all you bad kids to another timeout review. Today we'll be going over Hot Toys' 1-6 scale collectible figure of Iron Man in his Mark 7 armor from the Marvel movies The Avengers. Please stay tuned at the end of the video for some more info on my huge giveaway. I can guarantee you guys you will not want to miss it out. Miss out on this giveaway. Just by clicking the subscribe button you're getting the chance for winning a prize valued at $400. So wait till the end of the video and check out the details. All right, so here we have the box in the outer sleeve. It's got a red background with a picture of the Iron Man figure holding his arm up, about to repulse somebody with his beam. Uh, we have the Avengers printed in silver with the Marvel logo, the Hot Toys and the Movie Masterpiece logo down at the bottom in red. When we turn the box to the side, the continued image from the front along with the red background and a silver Iron Man symbol. Uh, then we go to the back. Just the red background with Iron Man Mark 7 in white. The warning, please do not choke on Iron Man's repulsor beam. The Hot Toys logo, the Marvel logo, and a couple other notices. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Then we get to the other side of the box, which is uh, a mirrored image of the other side, uh, except for the continued image of Iron Man uh, scrolling over. Um, once we take off the outer, or actually no, uh, at the top and bottom flap of the actual underneath box, we have Iron Man Mark 7 printed in big, bold, white lettering. This is common practice for every figure from the Avengers line from Hot Toys. Uh, once we do take off the red outer sleeve, we get to the gold box underneath showing the protective plastic window with Iron Man figure and his hands and stuff. At the bottom, we got the big Avengers A. Um, that's also a continued effect for all the figures in this line. On the sides of the box, we have the white Iron Man logo in white, uh, and on the back, we have Iron Man Mark 7, Hot Toys Presents Movie and Masterpiece, the cast and crew who we need to thank for this great, great figure, and the Hot Toys symbol in white. Uh, on this side, it's a mirror image of the other with the white Iron Man logo. The box is trimmed in a nice shiny gold also. Uh, so once we do take everything out of the box, we get two protective plastic windows. Uh, the one on the right is the one holding Iron Man figure with a couple hands. And the one on the left is holding all the interchangeable armor pieces along with the base. So once we get all the stuff out of the box, he comes with several sets of hands, um, two of them being fisted. As you can see, the repulsor beam part is covered in painted in red, so when they're applied and attached, you cannot use the light up function. He comes with uh, two different sets of wrist protectors and uh, that are connected to the top hand armor. These two in particular are angled up and go along with uh, the angled set of opened hands. Um, as you can see the joint hole is um, at a slight angle so you can line it up to the wrist peg like so. The armor piece being angled along the side of the hand so you can get that hand out repulsor beam uh, pose. Um, if you look right now it's pretty impossible to line it up with the other armor or the wrist armor so these two hands are made specifically for these right here um, great paint application in cherry red um, standard stuff here and then they come with two normal protective wrist joint and hand cover armor um, I guess these will be applied to the inner chain or the um, articulated fingered hands and the fisted hands uh, moving on, we get to the articulated fingered hands. Uh, the light up function does work, and it comes with every finger being articulated. Each finger has three articulated digits, and the thumb has two. Once again, the light up function does work while these two are uh, installed on the figure. He also comes with two interchangeable battle damaged arms. Uh, at the top shoulder, uh, armor has some battle damaged wear on top like a kind of metal burn um, as you can see I thought this little piece was uh, detachable so you could just apply it to the shoulder armor without changing the arm but I guess I was wrong as you can see some further more damaged wear these arms also have the little wrist missile launcher uh, deployed and out as you can see both arms do have some nice battle damage on the upper shoulder part and a little scuff marks down on the uh, forearm. Both of them do have the deployed wrist missile launcher out with some nice detail on the actual missile launcher itself. Some more little scuffs on the top hand armor. 
He also comes with two sets of interchangeable thigh plates, uh, this one being the silver with gold and the ready to launch missiles. They've painted each individual missile with uh, a nice shiny gold. Uh, the base of the thigh armor is a nice silver, good detail. They both have little pegs on the back that you just have to line up and pop them in. It's not too hard, it's actually quite easy. And then he comes with kind of two standard gold plated uh, upper thigh armor pieces too. Just the only difference is it's got a little tr silver trim. Uh, these also have the little pegs so you just line them up, pop them in and voila, you can change out the thigh armor. He then comes with two interchangeable uh, shoulder slash back uh, brake flaps. As you can see at the top part it does have the open and part where you can see the missiles where he sh is about to fire the shoulder missiles and it also comes with that silver grating in the back I thought that was a nice little touch they are both on hinge joints so they are articulated uh, to get that brake pose as you can see the missiles are painted nicely too uh, with a black base some silver accents and the tips of the missiles in the cherry red this is the center chest interchangeable plate. Uh, this is the battle damaged one. As you can see, it's still got that burned metal type look. Very good paint application on it. I think they've nailed the actual simulated damaged effect. It also has the two little pegs. Quite simple, you just pop off the one, insert this one. Uh, then he comes with two interchangeable wrist missiles. Um, you can pop off the top wrist or uh, forearm armor and then place these in with the little peg they just line right up and you stick them in it has a, some uh, I guess a few scuffs I wouldn't call it really battle damaged in my opinion but it does have some wear and tear marks on it to simulate that it's been in use the missile is properly painted with some silver trim and then the gold tip very nice detail on these things these two little guys I am not sure and I'm sorry for not being 100% on the entire review but these are the only pieces I have no idea where they go what they're for they do have a little uh, cross peg on them but I'm not sure where they go if any of you happen to know where they are actually supposed to fit please comment and let me know I would greatly appreciate it he also comes with a so-called battle damaged face plate once again it's just a few scuffs I wouldn't really classify it as battle damaged I would probably just call it the used face plate but that's just me uh, same good detail inside the little metal grating where the nose or mouthpiece would go and this is the unmasked head sculpt uh, Hot Toys has nailed the likeness of Robert Downey Jr. from the eyes to the hair to the paint to the facial hair as well even the little stubble and the uh, imperfections of the skin the little blemishes absolutely phenomenal job um, I think it's great when they go into that's super tiny detail as like little razor burn and stuff like that very very cool he also comes with a little neck uh, sleeve armor you just put that at the bottom of the neck while and you take off the armored head and the armored neck piece you just pop those two things off put the neck ring around this head sculpt like so and stick it on the peg and you'll have the unmasked Tony Stark look once again great head sculpt Hot Toys has nailed it. Alright, so let's go over some of the interchangeable and moving parts of this bad boy. Uh, as you can see, very easy, easily um, the chest piece is removed. No real hard straining or pulling or prodding just to get it off. He also comes with the winged part of his abdomen. Little two chest pieces come off quite easy. Well, one of them did. Hang on. Let me just get there. We go. Uh, as you can see, for the most part, it pops off quite easily. Nice detail underneath showing the inner workings of the chest piece. Um, these are the thigh plates that can pop off and interchange with the other ones that I've sh showed you a couple minutes ago. As you can see, there's the, the three holes that you line up to the pegs beneath the interchangeable thigh armor. Uh, I'm going to install the opened missile thigh armor right now. You just line up the pegs like so and stick it on simple simple stuff guys alright besides that you can spin them around and get to 
the interchangeable brake flaps and shoulder cannons. Um, you just gotta get your fingernail underneath the right spot. Let me move this shoulder piece real quick so I don't scrape any of the paint off. All right, so that pops off and you can interchange it with the one with the opened section with the missile showing. Once again, it has little pegs, so all you have to do is basically just line it up, fit it in right, apply a tiny bit of pressure, and it should uh, slide right in. That's what she said. Nah, let me stop. I really hate that joke. Um, so yeah, once you get it in, you'll have the full effect. Um, like I said before, they are on the hinge joint, so they will be articulated to still simulate that break, open brake flap back pose. Um, I thought that was a nice touch instead of just giving us the shoulder armor they continued it with the uh, effect of having it be articulated like so both now there are four flaps in the back that open all together the top two as you see here and moving down there is another two on either side that open up as well both of the bottom ones and the top ones do have that little metal grating as a nice little touch of accent and silver trim. Nice and shiny. Very, very cool stuff. And they slide up easily and slide down even easier. Um, just a little tidbit of information. Uh, the center piece there with the little black screw and the slit, that's where you will... Uh, pull the plastic tab and deal with the batteries. Same thing with the back of the tricep of the arms on the left and right. That is where you will unscrew, insert batteries uh, to access the light up function. Once again, the center piece in the back is for the chest. Uh, moving on al along, we have, let's see, what else can we do with this guy? Ah yes, the abdomen. Um, if you hold his legs and pull up on the upper part of the torso, he will pop and extend um, to add a little bit of extra articulation and movement in the abdomen area. Also, the back part of his calves, the flaps lift up and expose the inner workings and wirings of the suit, along with on the side of the calf armor has another little uh, air vent or flap that is articulated and opens up a tiny bit on a little hinge joint. Once again, uh, great detail adding on to the little inner workings. Um, as you see, this is where you will apply the interchangeable forearm missile launcher. You just pop off the top uh, piece, line up the little peg, and insert it. Alright, uh, so that is where and you lift up the right back brake flap and it will expose the little switch to utilize the chest armor light or his reactor light. He also has two switches under the or on the inside of the biceps and that will turn on the hand repulsors. As you can see right there, a little black switch. Just flick that bad boy on and boom instant repulsor they're actually quite bright when they don't have the hand on them like they're, they really are they're bright with the hand on them too but they're extremely bright without them um, also you can remove the faceplate to expose the switch for the light up eye feature along with the uh, cover of where the batteries go easy enough the face pops off to access that nothing really too hard a little quick look of what he looks like with all his lights lit up very very cool alright so let's get a nice close up of this guy so you can get a quick look at him and all the detail and how awesome he looks as you can see they have the classic gold and cherry red or hot rod red I should say. Um, it's got a nice shine to it, great detail etched in the head sculpt, the chest, the arms. Absolutely wonderful job on the molds. Um, even just the little interchangeable and all the articulated armor pieces that bend, fold, shimmy and shake and do all that stuff. It's just
crazy, crazy cool. Um, I do own several of the Iron Man suits, and even though it's they're all, very all similar, um, I'm still amazed at each and every one. As you can see, that's what he looks like with the missile deployed uh, upper thigh armor pieces. I think that's probably the coolest ones out of the bunch, but that's just me. Great detail on the thigh armor, the back. Awesome, awesome figure. Moving down, same great paint app. Uh, he does have those little uh, hinge joint armor pieces on the foot. Little scuffs here and there to simulate like he's been wearing the suit through battle. Very, very cool. Alright, so let's move on to the articulation of this bad boy so you guys can see how he moves and his limits to where you can actually bend all of his limbs. Alright, so for the head standard, it's on a ball joint so you can do the 360, the up and down, and the leaning from side to side. Just be careful while turning the head not to hit the shoulder armor. You don't want to scrape off any paint. It would be a shame. Excuse me. Um, as for his arms, uh, you can go up and down, but it is hindered by the top shoulder armor. Um, that is uh, slidable, so you can uh, slide the shoulder joint up and down to get a little more range of motion, as you can see. Quite easy. Uh, it does have a cut joint at the very top of the bicep, which you can do the 360 with. The elbows have a nice bend and depending on what uh, wrist armor set you have on you have a great deal of motion with the hand as well you got 360 and depending on which cover uh, determines how much tilt and up and down motion you can get as you can see while you have the wrist or the fisted hand on there's a more range of motion if you have the open palm wrist peg armor for the waist, I've already showed you this, but I'll show you one more time for those of you who didn't catch it. You just support the bottom, lift up, and pop up the abdomen, and it extends to get a little more range of motion for the ab crunch, the tilting side to side, and the twisting from left to right. I thought that was a cool touch. I actually didn't figure that out till about four figures into the line. Um, for the legs, uh, there are no little uh, flaps to lift up like the die cast figures. So, depending on what thigh armor you have on will determine how much up and down forward motion you can get out of the figure with his leg. Um, as you can see, some of the armor is a little smaller or sleeker looking, so you may be able to push the limit of how high you can get it up to. Um, they are on ball joints. You can get some kind of side angle split way motion going, just not too crazy. The more I extended it, the actual leg popped off and I just had to pop it back on the ball joint. It's got a good range facing back, not too too much. The most part of the motion in the leg I think comes when you bend the knees. Um, it does have that two kind of ratchet knee joint. I don't know if that's the proper term, but it clicks and sounds like that to me, so that's why. Both knees have it. Great deal of motion while bending the knee. And as for the feet, uh, due to the articulated little flaps right there, there's a great deal of motion from left to right, up and down. You get a little tilted action, and the front section of the toe is on a little uh, joint as well, so you can get a little toe articulation up and down. So that's pretty cool. That should do it for all the articulation. All in out, he can... There's a ton of moving parts on this figure and a decent enough of articulation in the main limbs and head. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that should wrap up yet another timeout review. Um, this was, once again, Hot Toys 1-6 scale Iron Man Mark 7 from the Avengers movie. Uh, don't forget to click subscribe, get in the running. A huge giveaway. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a prize valued at $400. You can either pick it out from SideshowCollectibles.com, Alter Ego Comics, Big Bad Toy Store, anything in stock up to $400, I will buy you and send it to you. Or, simply enough, you can just say I want a brand new PS4 or Xbox One, and I will mail you that as well. So, once again, click that subscribe. Check out my other videos. I hope you enjoy. There's tons more to come. 
So have a nice day and stay collecting.